Vance and Leland? Come on, yeah. All let's right, go. let's do it. If you're a fan of bluegrass, then you no doubt know Larry Stevenson. He's the reigning Society for the Preservation of Bluegrass Music Association's Male Vocalist of the Year. And the Larry Stevenson Band is nominated for Album of the Year for their part in Celebration of Life on Skaggs Family Records at the upcoming IBMA Awards next month. The band's latest project is Life Stories. And they'll be debuting songs from the CD on the Opry on September 8th. But they're here today to give us a preview with the song, Waiting on the Sun to Shine. Take it away, boys. Woe is me, trouble is mine, waiting on the sun to shine. It's awful dark, and it's so holler, I can hear the hoot owl call. Right and wrong, and I'm in trouble, I ain't got no friends at all. Georgia women, Georgia whiskey, Georgia dog. Stevenson Band. Let me step right in here. Larry, how are you? I'm great, Harry. Well, introduce us, you, introduce us to the, to the guys in the band. We've got uh, Aaron McDerris over here on the five-string banjo. Uh -huh. We've got Randy Barnes on the dig upright bass. All right. Dustin Benson on guitar. The comedian of the group. He's the comedian, yeah. He's we'll still with us. I know. We want to give a big shout-out to Tom T. and Dixie Hall, who Absolutely. wrote that song. They did right? write that song. They've written a lot of great songs for us in the last two or three years. We had one of their songs go to number one on the bluegrass charts a few years ago with Clinch Mountain Mystery. And that thing stayed up there for us. stayed up there for a solid year and went to number one in December of 04, I believe it was, and been a good album for us. And now New Life Stories and got a couple of their great songs on it again. Yeah. Now tell me about the new project, Life Stories, this album. We uh, started out at the album as being an all-gospel album. <laughs> and it's funny how things evolve and change in the studio. And, right. and one year later, we come out, we kept finding all these great story songs, like Waiting on the Sun to Shine. And right. We've got a song on there called The Knoxville Boy. It's kind of a play on the, the song, the old Knoxville Girl yeah, song, and right. Tom T. and Dixie wrote. Right. It's just a lot of good life stories. Just uh, Some of them are, are upbeat, and some of them are got a little sad, a little touching yeah. to them. you, you, uh, you got to have a little sadness yeah, in bluegrass, right? That's right. It's something everybody can relate to, though. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So tell me about your background. Where did, where did you come from? I'm from Virginia, and I've been in Nashville. Uh, next April will be 15 years wow. I've lived here. Because I know 
know you've been doing bluegrass music about 30 years. I've been professionally almost 30 years playing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, it a while. so it's got to be a lot of fun. And congratulations on the, your part of the Celebration of Life project, which Ricky put together. Great CD. And it benefits uh, St. Jude's. Tell me about that. It project. does. Uh, there's a, a fellow in, uh, in Ohio by the name of Daryl Atkins. He puts a festival on up there every year in Columbus at Hoover Y Park. Yeah. And everybody goes and, and works the festival uh, free, and uh, all the proceeds from the festival go to St. Jude's Children's wow. Hospital. Yeah. And uh, Daryl had a daughter who spent some time at uh, St. Yeah. Jude's and uh, his family, and and uh, they recorded everything the last five or six years and came up with this great, great live recordings. And everybody, everybody in the business, I'm not even going to start to mention who's on it. Yeah. And we're just lucky to be a part of this great album, and it's nominated for Album of the Year at IBMA this year. Yeah, IBMA is coming up uh, next month. And it of is. Of course, y'all are part of that nomination. We are, yeah. That's a great time for bluegrass people to get together and celebrate. Their it is. It's a great week uh, right here in downtown Nashville. The Fan Fest is going on. We'll be working that. We'll be doing a couple showcases throughout the week, yeah. and uh, uh, especially with our record label, Pine Cat and different things. It's a great week for bluegrass music. Well, I know you're busy doing lots of tours, uh, and but one of the great things is uh, on the 8th you get to be on the Opry. Where are you going to yeah. play some songs? We Life are. Stories. Uh, the Life Stories is officially released next Tuesday on the 5th, and then, uh, then the 8th we're going to be uh, do a guest spot on the Opry and feature some songs off the Opry. And we thank all the folks over at the Opry for allowing us to come over and pick. We like it over there. Well, that's a fun place to because there's such that great tradition from yeah. Bill Monroe and down oh, yeah. of bluegrass music. There. They love bluegrass music at the Grand oh, yeah. Ole Opry, and the audiences do. And, yeah. and you know, we, you know, we spend a fair amount of time over there, you know, throughout the year. So we appreciate them for that. I know. Well, Larry, yeah. thanks for coming by here today. It's our it's pleasure, Harry. Guys, thank, thank you all for being thank with you us. Thank you very there. much. Absolutely. <laughs> Be sure to look for the CD Life Stories. It'll be in record stores beginning September 5th. And look for the Larry Stevenson Band on the Grand Ole Opry on September 8th. Now let's go out to Tawanda.